1937, a three-man film crew, which included Felton Barber, casting director William, William, William D. Patton, came to Northwest Arkansas to shoot three two-reel kidnapper spoil comedies. They worked with movie mogul William Solomon, who sponsored the films. At the time, Solomon had five theaters in Washington and Benton counties. In fact, the last theater he owned was the Apollo Theater in Springdale, just a couple blocks from here, and that's where these films, that box was found. Each week, Solomon published ads and a short letter to moviegoers in three local newspapers, the Springdale News, the Benton County Democrat, and the Fayetteville Daily Democrat. And the comments I'm going to be making today come from these articles. So being a theater owner and having uh, this weekly column in the paper made him a natural fit for Barker's business venture. Barker made his living in part making his movies. According to Solomon, he was combing the countryside for prospects, and that was his business. And any child with the kind of talent it takes for pictures can now have a chance. To prepare the way, a press release about the movie production was published in late January of 1937. Barker is introduced as coming from Hollywood. The article said that he has the distinction of having discovered Spanky and Carlin, one of the stars of the R game comedies. And to prove it, like Todd said, the newspapers ran a photo of Barker holding Spanky. Barker was seeking 50 children each in Bentonville and Springdale and 75 in Fayetteville to be in his films. He said, some singing and dancing will be used in the picture, but it will not be necessary for a child to be able to sing or dance or to get a good part, as all types of children are needed to fill out the cast. Children ages 3 to 12 wanted to audition were to register at their local theater, the Concord in Springdale, the Plaza in Bentonville, and the Ozark, Royal, and Palace Theaters in Fayetteville. There was no charge for registration or tryouts, but if a child was chosen, they would, there would be a small training fee. In the end, 164 kids participated in the three movies. 30 children were in the Springdale film, 36 in Bentonville, and a whopping 100 in Fayetteville. In fact, several hundred children registered for the Fayetteville auditions held in the lobby of the Ozark Theater. According to a newspaper article, Hollywood methods of casting were used, placing the applicant before camera and lights. So perhaps to placate parents and get himself off the hook, Simon made it clear that he had no role whatsoever in casting the movie, saying, the Hollywood casting director picks them as each is placed before the camera under the lights. And right here we want it understood that we are absolutely nobody when it comes to making this picture. All we do is run it when complete. So he's trying to ward off those angry parents. There were three to four rehearsals prior to filming. The children were taught how to talk over the microphone and act before the sound camera. Parents were assured that filming would not interfere with schoolwork. Most of the scenes were shot on the weekend, with some presumably being shot after school during the week, the, the school week. All three movies were shot in early February over a one-week period. And as you watch the film, you'll see a lot of shivering kids and a few patches of snow in the background. Casting director William Patton played the kidnapped girl's father in all three films, while two young men from each town were cast as the kidnappers. In Springdale, one of the kidnappers was Espen Walters, and he's placed the lead kidnapper in this film. The newspaper uh, featured a jokey article detailing his experiences with the filmmaking. He was described as 17 years young and very striking in appearance. Walters said that his new experience is very thrilling and the lights of the movie camera don't frighten him. He's described as having signed a contract with Phony Films, Inc., located in Plunk, California. His favorite actress is Martha Ray, oh boy. And in his next picture, he will play against Tom Nix in Too Much Mustard. So Ray was a comedic actress at the time, and Nix was a cowboy star. Once production had wrapped, Barker developed the film, cut the movies, and sent them to William Sonnen, the theater owner. The movie in Fayetteville premiered the last weekend in February 1937 at the Palace Theater. 
The Springdale and Bennett films Bentonville films opened the first weekend in March at the Concord and Classes theaters, respectively. Kidnapper's Foil was shown as a short before the feature movie. So in Springdale, it was paired with Outcast, starring Warren William. In Bentonville, it was shown with the undersea adventure The Devil's Playground, featuring Dolores Del Rio and Richard Dix. And in Fayetteville, it played along with the comedy Off to the Races and the serial short Jungle Jam, starring Olympian athlete Johnny Weissmuller, who also played Tarzan earlier. Tickets were 25 cents for adults and 10 cents for kids. In his weekly theater letter, Simon bragged on the young actors as being big as life and just as natural. But he cautioned, while there is no outstanding stage presence exhibited, sorry, and no prodigy star discovered, anybody who knows most of the youngsters in the picture will get a big kick out, uh, big kick out of their comedy. As far as I can tell, the film's only played one weekend, and so we're going to rectify it today. During the course of our research into these films, we were thrilled to find 15 kids now in their 80s and 90s, and just this morning, the 16th kid came to identify herself. We're going to have most of them come up on stage now to answer some questions. It is my honor to introduce uh, seven of them, eight of them to you, and ask them to come on stage to share their memories about Kidnappers Foil. So please welcome Colonel Dan Allen, Ray Ash Seagraves Dunnigan, Erlene Brown Henry, Link Pluckett, Connie May Norton Waddell, Annabelle Sullins Bolin, and Martha Martin Highland Westberg. And remaining in the audience is, is Roma Jean Vincent Draco. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll come up. Janine Campbell, Tommy Pearson, and Donnie Bay Baker. Who else is here? Oh, all right. Uh, William or James? Both? All right. Thank you. Anybody else who I didn't, we don't know about yet? Who? Yes. Yes, thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Well. <clears throat> Mr. Luckett, did you want to join us or are you going to stay there? <laughs> he just said hello, girls. 